okay so we had a network glitch like seriously i don't know why this is happening um please if you're watching the previous one please do well to join me here okay um network actually disrupted it please if you're joining me on this one say hi okay then so i'm just going to go ahead and continue hi thank you so much for joining again i'm sorry we had a network issue so what i'm going what i was saying what is the one way or literally speaking three ways through which you can actually get people to stop picking your brain for free so the first reason why people keep picking your brain for free is because you don't productize you don't have products it's more like you have not put yourself in the shoes of your customers you've not asked yourself what are the likely questions that these people are going to ask me so it's more like going into the future not just going into the future once one or two people have asked you questions relating to a particular thing it is a sign that you should create a product on that thing so that when other people get to ask you all you have to do is do what tell them okay i have a product on this that will explain everything you need to know about this and then you drop the link and they can go get it all right so the reason why you are not the number one reason why people keep picking your brain for free is because you are not offering anything you don't have any products if you have product products you will find out that you will get more people you will get more people to actually pay you your what all right now when it comes to products and productizing there are two ways to it you should have two different types of products you should have the free products and the paid products your free product should be a lead magnet so when i come to ask you for something instead of just telling me that okay this is what you do and i come back and ask again you reply i ask again you reply we keep going back and forth back and forth and you won't really find a way to tell me that see i'm not giving out this information for free again we have to pay for a strategy session kiniko kiniko that's like a long process but if i come and ask you for something that is related to your knowledge to your area of expertise and i ask you for something and you say okay i have a link this is the link to get my free course or my free ebook that will show you how to do this thing then you give that person the free ebook and when the person is done with the free ebook the person will find out that he needs something else or maybe the free ebook doesn't really take him through everything he wants then he can come back and buy your paid session right so the number one thing you must do is that you must create products even if it is a free product create it as a lead magnet create it as a lead magnet if you are not creating products you are making a big mistake people will continue to come to you and they will continue to say hey can you help me with this how did you start your data sharing business please tell me how do they to start data sharing business hey how did you start your snail farming oh how do they to start it oh all my fishes are, are dead i've been trying to start my catfish business i know my fishes are dying what can i do these are questions that people ask you and you're an entrepreneur and all you get to do is you are booking sessions you're calling them on phone telling them no you have to change the water and your fish three times a week you have to give your fish vitamin e you have to do this oh congratulations that's not what you ought to do later you come and tell me that people are picking your brain for free but imagine that someone comes to ask you how can i start my own snail farming business how can I start my own fish business? How can I prevent my fishes, which are still fingerlings? How can I prevent my fingerlings from dying early? And you tell the person, oh, I already have an ebook, and it's for free. It's um, five quick ways to stop your fingerlings from dying in one month. And the person says, oh, wow, thank you so much. And the person gets that book, which may just be a two pages or 10 pages book. And the person gets that book and reads that book, gets value from that book. But the person really wants to know how to now use that fish farming business and become a big business or, or actually make more profit from it. The person will come back to you and when you tell that person that, okay, for this particular one, how to monetize your fish business, you have to pay me X, Y, Z. Because I have a product on it. Once you pay, you have access to that product. You don't have to disturb me ever again. Now, when you do that, you'll find out that you begin to get sales. 
listen it's not rocket science even if you have work even if you are working you are employed i'm currently empo employed but that doesn't mean you should be selling out your information for free i think there's something i should share with you and i'm going to read it from here it's proverbs 11 26 and the reason why i want to read it because i wrote it out i actually heard it from one of my role models and i wrote it out proverbs 11 26 it says the people will curse him who withholds grain the people will curse him who withholds grain but the blessing is to him who sells it the blessing is to him who sells it the Bible did not say that the blessing is to him who gives it out for free. I don't know if, you're, if this is making sense to you. You have to learn to sell your knowledge. God gave you that knowledge. He gave you that insight to know how to grow your business to where it is now. He gave you that skill to know how to do amazing voiceovers, to know how to make up. You learned how to make up, okay? He gave you that skill to know one thing or the other. That's your own grain. You have to learn how to monetize that grain. How can you monetize that grain? If you are not monetizing it, then you are making a mistake. People will keep coming to you. Just imagine that the person in the market who is selling rice in the market, the person actually comes out with rice. And then when anybody is passing and says, um, please, I want to eat rice. The woman says, I'll come in and eat. She gives you rice, gives you rice, as in she's not asking you for play payment for it. Are you not even going to be more suspicious about the rice? So that's the thing. The one reason, the number one reason why you are not able to charge, why people keep picking your brain. They will come and ask you A today, you answer. They ask you B today, you answer. And they keep doing that. You keep going back and forth, back and forth. All you will be getting is, wow, thank you so much. I got so much value. I got so much value. And you're getting all that. I got so much value, you will not pay your bills. Hallelujah. <laughs> I got so much value, will never pay your bills. So whatever it is you have, and you cannot sell it, and I've told you that it's not just about selling also. You should learn how to productize in two ways. Have two types of products. You will have the leads, which are free, and then you will have the paid products. All right? So that's the one thing. I don't want this to be long, so I'm going to go on to the second thing. Now, the second reason why you are not able to stop people from picking your brain is because of your mindset. I should have put this one first, but if I had put it first, you would say Debbie has come with a uh, motivation. Listen, let me tell you something. Your mindset is everything. If you don't see yourself as worthy of being paid for what you are about to offer, come on, no one will pay you. See, there is more to what people hear from you than what you are saying. Okay? There is more to what we can hear from you. When you are talking, there's more to what people hear. There's more to what we can interpret from what you're saying. So if you cannot deal with your mindset first and begin to see yourself as a creator, see yourself as someone who is valuable enough to be paid for what you know. I keep saying this snail farming business thing because I just had a consultation with someone on that. You had a snail farm. Your snails kept dying. Your snails kept dying and you kept going around it until you found a way to make those snails to survive. Then someone else is now asking, how can I get uh, to stop my snails from dying? And then you're giving the person the information, won't come, won't come, just like that, just like that. It doesn't make any sense. All right? You can decide to productize it. And I told you, if you don't want to sell it, make it a lead magnet. It will come in handy someday. Make it a lead magnet. And the fact that I'm saying lead magnet, a lead magnet is something like a bait. All right? When you go to catch fish, what do you do? You put in worm, right? With a hook. And with that, you can get the fish. You attract the fish. So even if you are not ready to sell now, because I know there are some of you that need baptism. You need baptism before your, your mindset will change. You need a lot of baptism before you can begin to see yourself as valuable enough to be paid for the information that you have. So the next, that's the next thing you need to do. You need to treat your mindset. Am I valuable enough to be paid? If yes, that means I can sell it. The reason why the woman in the market can confidently sell her rice, her beans, her oil, her palm oil, is because she sees it as valuable enough. 
she knows it is valuable enough to be paid for. So she's not going to beg you to, to take it for free. If you don't buy from her, you will not eat. If she's only scared, she'll be scared you will buy from somebody else. But last, last, she won't give it to you for free. So deal with your mindset. Believe in the value of what you have to offer. Believe in the value of what you have to offer. If you went through any stress and you were able to come out of it, you were able to figure something out, which took you time to figure out, then you can actually productize on it. I hope I'm making sense. I'm already seeing... <laughs> Princess said you're making lots of sense. Chukudi said right on my everybody. Thank you so much. Like seriously, you need to stop letting people pick your brain. God is disappointed in you when you do that. He is disappointed. When I started my business a little bit, um, when I just started, I had this person who reached out to me and said that I should help him out with something. I gave him a free, a free stuff, right, to help him. He used that free stuff. He wanted something else. And he said that he wants to talk to me so I can tell him everything I do and all that. And I was like, ah, I have a product in this. You can just go get it and it will help you. And he was like, why are you charging for it? Debbie, you are beginning to like money too much. Eh? You are beginning to like money too much. Eh, freely have you received. Freely shall you give. And I told him, sorry, sir. I did not receive anything freely. Now, that will lead me to the next point. Why people keep picking your brain. That will lead me to the next point. And this one is the Indaboski. Hey, hey. <laughs> this particular point is the Indaboski. It is the liquid metal. I told him, sorry, sir. I did not receive it for free. So I cannot give it for free. I have been investing in myself multiple times. So why should I not give it for free when I paid to learn it? That leads me to the next point. The third reason why nobody will pay you, why people will continue to pick your brain for free, is because you are not investing in yourself. I have hit the nail on the head. You are not investing in yourself. How can you reap from where you did not sow? Okay, let me just tell you, I like to be practical, especially when I consult with my clients which I do majorly on my Facebook group and my mailing list, I like to be practical. The first time I made, I sold my book. Okay, let me start from my book. The first time I sold my book, which is an e-book, Mission Impossible, I sold it for 2,500 Naira. 2,550 Naira. Some people who watch this live broadcast, they bought that book. They are still my followers. They are still my friends and my clients. They bought that e-book for 2,550 Naira. Now, I sold an ebook for that price because I had already bought an ebook before then that was 4,000 naira. I had bought an ebook that was 5,000 naira. And I had bought an ebook that was 6,500. So I told myself if I can buy something, I can buy an ebook that is 6,500 and I got value from it. And thousands of other people, hundreds of other people bought it. And nobody is complaining. That means I can sell my own product for 2,500. Do you see? The reason why you cannot productize, the reason why people will keep picking your brain for free is because you are not investing in yourself. So you cannot even tell. You are scared. Hey, am I sure I should sell this thing? It's probably something you got from Google that you want to sell. Yes. And it doesn't mean you can't sell something you got from Google. I'm not saying that. Like I said, if you are able to solve any solution, I was talking, telling you about the person, one of my clients I consulted with on his snail farming business. If you were, if you were, you were able to solve something, that means you can productize it. I told the guy, you were struggling with your snail farming. Your snails died up and down. It took you months to figure out the formula to keep your snails from dying. That is a product you can start to sell. Stop giving that information out. When people ask you, just start telling them. But another thing that will help this guy to start selling is the fact that he has paid someone like me. When you invest in others, when you invest in others, you will find it easy to allow people to invest in you. 
It is a law of sowing and reaping. It is a law. You cannot do without this law. You cannot disobey this law. Listen, the first time I made 25,000 Naira from my business, like from one client for my business, I had paid about 35,000. Exactly. I spent that. I always keep stock of everything I do. I spent 35K that month on myself, on the brand called Debra Ugochuku. I spent 35K on myself that month. And that same month, I got a client who reached out to me for, please, how can you help me with this, this, this? I said, well, you can take advantage of my one month coaching program. And it's 25,000 Naira. And remember the two things we had said. I had a product, a one month coaching program. And the number two thing, my mindset. I knew that I was worthy to be paid. Then the number three thing, I had invested so much in myself. So I had the confidence, exactly. Investing in yourself gives you confidence. It gives you this aura. Listen, I recently launched Legends Africa Academy. I know I've not really been doing lots, lots of things on my Facebook profile. I've been having this kind of videos on my Facebook group. You can join the Facebook group and get more value like this one. And then you can join my mailing list because that's really where I am. I'm more about building funnels and all that these days. It is because I invest in myself first. So I've come to the stage where I would tell someone comfortably, listen, my 45-minute strategy session is worth 45000 But I can give it to you for 35000 if you can pay in the next 24 hours. I will have so much confidence to do that because I myself have paid for strategy sessions. I have paid for just two-hour session. I have paid for uh, one month coaching. I have paid for two days coaching. I have bought ebook of 6,500. What have I not done? So I have so much confidence to be able to prize my worth because I have invested in myself. So that's the third thing. The third and most important thing, invest in yourself. It is always a return on investment something. It's an ROI. Um, one of my friends, Fee Steven, would always say it's an ROI. When you invest in yourself, you will be able to yield more results. You'll be able to yield more results. So that's it. Last month, I, I started my mailing list. Was it last month, right? Or last two months? I can't remember. I started my mailing list last two months. And that was because I invested 50K in a course. I invested 50k in that course and I started my mailing list. Started my mailing list in less than three to I mean, two to three weeks or so. I made an upsell, launched Legends Africa Academy, enrolled people in that place because I had invested in myself. If I had been able to sow this amount of money into somebody else's life, then other people will sow that amount of money into me. So that's how it is. You must learn to invest in yourself. Invest in your business. Invest in that thing you have to offer. It will help boost your confidence. Now, I think I've overstretched this. I don't want this life to be too long. Now, I said three points, but I'm going to give you one last point. One last point. And this one is a no-brainer. But first, let me read your comments. Let me read your comments. Thanks so much to everyone who has joined. Elijah Otto, thank you, sir. Yes, so, yes, God is disappointed. He is disappointed that you're offering it out for free. Chuko the said we specialize in baptism. <laughs> Making a lot of sense, ma. Thank you. Yes, thank I'm so glad everyone is getting value. Thank you. Winning Sam said, when you invest in yourself, it makes it easier for others to pay you. Exactly. Exactly. So the last point that I want to share with you today, the last point you need to take home today is this. You must learn how to sell. I want to let it sink. Let it sink. Let it sink into your, 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 your subconscious. Learn how to sell. Remember I've told you in the book of Proverbs eleven twenty six. 26. He said, cost is the man that withholds grain. Abby. But then, blessed is the man who sells it. Meaning you must sell. You must sell to survive. See, you must sell. Someone put it in the comment section. You must sell to survive. Say it. Tell yourself when you wake up in the morning, I must sell to survive. Selling is a skill that you cannot do without. 
So the reason why people keep picking your brain is that you don't know how to sell. All right? This one is like, is an entire masterclass on his own. And actually helped another client of mine recently who just launched his company, his brand, which is like um, for traveling to Canada, traveling for studies and all that. And he had been trying to close sales for a long time. He was trying to close sales. People will keep telling him, I will get back to you later. I will get back to you later. If you have heard that sentence and those people never go back to you, it is normal. In fact, I will get back to you later. Eh? I will get back to you later is your client's way of saying, sorry, I'm not coming back. That's your client's way of saying, sorry, I'm not coming back. So you must learn how to sell. It is important to learn how to sell. You can read books on this. You can read The Art of Closing Sales. At least that one will help you kickstart your journey into selling. So it's not like I'm going to be teaching you how to sell today, but I want to just recap on all the things we have learned. The reason why people keep picking your brain is because, number one, you don't productize. You don't have products. And we talked about the fact that you can have free products and paid products. Your free product should be a lead magnet. Don't just give out things for free like that. You are not Father Christmas. God is annoyed with you when you are giving out things for free without selling it. The Bible said so in the book of Proverbs 11. So you must sell. The number two reason is the fact that your mindset is not right. You are not seeing yourself as a creator. You don't see yourself worthy enough to be sold to. So you must change that mindset. And the one way to change that mindset is by investing in yourself. That's the number three thing we talked about. You have to invest in yourself. When you invest in yourself, you will gain the confidence that you need to be able to confidently ask others to pay you. All right? Then the number four thing is that you must learn how to sell. Go and learn it. It is a skill. Go and get a course on Udemy about it. Go and get books on how to sell. Learn the psychology of selling. Learn how to close sales. Learn all of these things. So I hope I've, you've gotten a lot of value. I, I definitely know you've got value. And I saw a lot of people saying I'm making lots of sense. So this is going to be the end. If you have any questions, please ask me. Do you have any questions? Ask me. You can still leave the questions in the comment section. And I'll get back to it. And I'll answer you. So, so far, I truly hope you got value. Please share this video with other people. Click the share button. Share it. That's the reason why I did it here on my Facebook timeline. And like I said, you can get this type of videos, this type of value in my Facebook group, Legends Africa. I have really been having a Facebook live almost every day. So join us in Legends Africa to get values like this, to get value loaded videos like this. All right. So thank you so much for joining. If you have any question, I'll still respond to your question later. Bye. <laughs>